Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be taking you along for my super strong, impressive leg day. No, for real though, I am gonna be maxing out on squats, which I know if you are a returning viewer, you know that I probably shouldn't be doing that and you're gonna think that I am slacking off for my program, but it actually is important because I changed my form and have no idea what my one rep max is. So I need to figure that out so I can start using that to figure out my other leg days. Like if I'm supposed to do like three sets of five, I'm kind of just going by how it feels and guessing, which is really not what's gonna make me progress because I am a little bitch when it comes to legs and squatting and I'm bad at pushing myself and I think everything feels so heavy. So I need to figure out my one rep max so that I can start actually planning my days accordingly. But yeah, I am drinking my pre-workout right now. Cycle Pharma, it's a, I think it's like three quarters of a scoop of the pre-workout jungle juice, I think. And then like a scoop and a half or two scoops of the pump. Don't look at the cup. My Cycle Pharma cup is not clean. Today is my first day off. Oh, don't cut your hair, Ash, that does not work. Today is my first day off after two days of work. I know two days doesn't sound like a lot, but I freaking hate my job. I hate being a nurse. I might get some, some heat for that, but I don't like it. So two days is a lot for me. It's mentally taxing. Uh, yeah, it's my first day off. I get two days off, so I'm doing legs today, back tomorrow. And then I work a day and then I'm off a day and then I work a day and then I'm off a day. So I'll get like four workouts in this week, I think, which isn't bad. It's honestly, I would like to get like five, probably six, but in reality, I think five would be ideal for me. So it's fine. It forces me to take my rest days. I'm trying to be more productive on my days off. I feel like I'm really slow to do things and I could accomplish way more if I focused better and like just did things more fast, fast faster, if I did things faster. Um, I'm trying to, <laughs> the time I'm spending on social media, I'm trying to be like more engaging and like comment on posts and make posts and be more interactive instead of just mindlessly cooking my brain, looking at reels and TikToks. So I'm trying to be more productive and interactive. Something is playing through my AirPods right now. And I, it was like Siri talking, but I have no idea. She was like reading a text, but I didn't get a text. So I don't know what just happened. That was freaky. But anyways, I am gonna finish drinking my pre and I will see you guys in the squat rack. I warmed up already with 95 and um, 135. Now next step is 155 and we'll go up from here. Cameraman put too much pre-workout in my pre-workout. He did not do like the three quarters of a scoop. He did like a scoop and my heart is going so freaking fast right now. I'm like shaking, it's okay though. I'm actually like really nervous to do this. I've never gone this heavy since changing my form. 195's on the bar. I got like nervous smiles right now, so. My AirPods keep friggin' like. Dude, fuck AirPods. Whenever I get a notification, it reads it to me. I just read that in the fucking middle of my rep. What? AirPods read your notifications to you. <clears throat> it's like so-and-so started following you on threads. Oh, that was good. In the middle of my fucking rep. So just for shits and giggles, I took um, my squash shoes off 
and we'll see if I can squat to depth now that I do high bar without the squat shoes. We'll give this a little go. I'm very butt hurt that I could not squat to 25 because that's literally 50 pounds off my freaking squat, but it's okay. little uh, change of plans. We actually are going to restart the Bromley, the Alex Bromley program that I did because my squat was 265 with my old form and now it's 215. So I really want to get it back up. And the Bromley program literally put like at least 40 pounds on my squat. It was like, I could hit 225 not to depth. And then like I was squatting 265 to depth for me. So helped a lot so we're gonna redo it so this is three sets of five at 70% I'm using 225 as my max even though I just failed it twice don't come at me Actually, because you can do 70% of 90% and where's the first day I really want to lock in the depth and I'm not wearing my squat shoes so I'm gonna practice the lighter weight so I don't hurt myself I'm not, I didn't record the other sets, it's kind of boring as hell, but three sets of five with 70%, so 335. Last time we finished this program, my squat went from like 455 to 485. I think I had 500 if I didn't bitch out of it. And I thought, you know, maybe the last couple of weeks I've been training high pitch feet, maybe I got stronger, so I tried 505 three times today, fucked it up, never got it. Kind of, I don't know, just wasn't in it, but so I'm rolling with my max is 485, my proven to depth max. And uh, yeah, 70% is 339, so here we are. Last set of squats. I'm pretty impressed with the depth considering I'm not wearing squat shoes. Kind of pissed I just spent so much time, so much time trying to get used to them, but. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ashley. We are back for another chest day. It's technically supposed to be back day, but I want to deadlift on my back day and my legs are sore. So we're doing chest. Already warmed up. Got some real heavy weight on the bar. 115. Going to be going for some doubles. See how it goes. Oh, shit.
Oh god. Your elbows are good. You're Those fucking work. up by trying to push it up. Which if you're pushing your if you're pushing forward with your legs, you need to push almost back a little bit. You're pushing straight up, which is I, I think I went down too far. It looked good. Your elbows looked like they were in the right spot. But instead of coming like down and then because when you push your feet in, yeah. you're gonna it's gonna be like pushing backwards almost. Not too much. Yeah. That's why I'm here to squat. It's just but, heavy. Yeah, but do it again. You got oh. it. Sure. Went a little wider on the grip. It's weird, just not feeling it today. Okay, that did not exactly go as planned. I was way overconfident that that was gonna be easy. It wasn't. I'm gonna try to tune in the form a little bit though. See if that makes it any better. Might just be yet another humbling chest day. What the fuck? That first one was so much better. Why? You rushed the bottom of it. God damn, I fucking hate bench, dude. I'm like done. I'm literally reading um, your comments on my last chest day as we speak. And it's kind of fitting because you guys are being encouraging and telling me not to be so hard on myself. Meanwhile, I'm like throwing an absolute fit in the gym right now because I just failed 115 for two. Oh, shit. Which is just like a, very discouraging because I was doing it for five a couple weeks ago, but I was doing it with a different form. My elbows were flared, so it wasn't ideal, but still, freaking sucks. So thank you guys. I appreciate the kind comments. Failing that second one was like, I don't know why, this, the first one felt so good. And then second rep just not. Nah. They didn't go up. I don't know why. Everything else kind of, I mean, like, squats I've had to work on depth. Not the same that I've had to, like, they progress. My bench just, like, literally does not progress. I don't know why. Someone said I should start doing push-ups. Um, I do agree. I should do that. And I think I need to do dips. I think that doing dips would benefit me. I think there's something, like, lacking in my, like, tricep somewhere. I think dips might help that. Push-ups probably because I'm not good at push-ups. If fresh, I can do maybe, like, 10. Thing is, if I do them AMRAP at the end of my chest day, I'm gonna be able to do like two. So I might have to do like the cheating push-ups, but I guess it might still kind of do the same thing. I don't know. Honestly, it's becoming like a meme how bad my chest days are. My squats aren't great. I I think I can get 225 on a good day right now. And then like the 355 deadlift and then failing 115 for two on bench. They just don't line up at all. Oh. Put your one pound plates on. I have one pound plates. I guess I'm gonna put those on. I don't know where they are. All right, 97 and a half pounds. I don't know if you can see them, but these are my little 1.25 pound plates that I got. I feel like this speaks for itself that I have to use these on my bench. I'm gonna go for six again, hopefully. All right, last set. I'm gonna do max reps. It's probably gonna be six though. Fuck me. Good job.
All right, I feel like I don't have a huge pump anywhere right now because I was like, I don't know, pretty fatigued and out of it during that whole workout, honestly. This is like the only pose that looks good when I do it. Well, I think that's That's the best run I get. I'm freaking tired. I was a little bit of a low energy chest day, but I still still did everything I needed to do, so that's what matters. <clears throat> I don't even know what to say. Are you not gonna do anything? You're not gonna pose, you're not gonna talk, you're not gonna like like I'm just not in the zone today. I'm just like not fucking here. I went to the bathroom before I did triceps and didn't realize that I didn't unmute myself. So I'm pretty bummed out because I wasn't in the zone today at all, but I was like trying to push through and be like kind of positive for the video. And then it turns out I wasn't even recording myself. So that is frustrating, but it's okay. <laughs> pretty much I said that I wanted to go light on the side raises because I'm, I feel like out of it and fatigued and kind of sick again, I guess. But cameraman freaking talked some sense into me. And then we realized that like today would be the day that I need to not go easy. And that's kind of what matters because then next time when I feel better, <clears throat> I'll be able to do the same thing or more. So I did, I pushed through, which I'm proud of. I'm proud that I made myself do it even though I didn't want to, because I, I am definitely pretty notorious for going light. Like, oh, I'll just do some light squeezing reps when I'm lazy. I forgot that yesterday we went for, I went for three squat PRs. Ashley went for two uh, because we're going to start this kind of new squat program. Um, but we've been doing hypertrophy. So like we are not primed. Like my CNS is not primed for one rep maxes. Um, and after going for three PRs, like my CNS was so taxed. I was fucked up yesterday. I was like, I don't know. Something's been up with me in general. Like I've just been nauseous, but I was super ambitious today because Last time I did chest, uh, I did chest by myself while Ashley was at work. My last chest day, I hit 315 um, for a set of four, a set of three, and then a set of two. And then I hit three, 275 for two sets of seven. Like, I was fucking in the zone. Like, no spotter. And uh, today I was like, well, maybe I'll do 335 for a double. And I put 315 up for a single as a warm-up, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude. And... Uh, yeah, it's just one of those things like you're either going to quit lifting or you're going to have another bad day. And I mean, I was kind of talking to Ashley about it because she was going to phone in some fucking lateral races with the 15s. And it's like, you can do that. You can fucking drop the weight and just do more reps. And it's going to give you like a good stimulus for that day, especially if you're not feeling it. But like, I know, Ashley, I know when she's not feeling it versus when she needs to take it easy. And when you're just, like, not feeling it, that's, like, when I feel like you need to be real with yourself and be like, okay, the only thing stopping me from grabbing this weight and doing it is, like, my head. Like, my muscles can do it. So, yeah, just one of those days. Uh, I think outside the camera I hit a couple incline sets. Hit some uh, dumbbell flies. Hit some chest press. Machine. Some skull crushers. I did a fuck ton of abs today because I'm going to start the cut, but... Yeah, that's about it.